the reason why we want to sequence DNA is uh, is for the simple reason that uh, DNA uh, contains the basic instruction set for the basis of life. Uh, cells replicate on their own, and in order to replicate or make copies of themselves, they have to have an instruction set. And that instruction set codes or encodes for all of the machinery that the cell has to assemble and build. The human genome is three billion bases of DNA, which encodes for an incredibly complicated machine, which is ourselves. And we want to know how that came to be and what that represents. And so that's all somehow in that DNA sequence. A simple way of thinking about a DNA sequencer is that it's a decoding machine. Uh, the genome uh, has uh, codes information in a string of ba DNA bases. And the trick is, uh, is to identify what's the order of those bases uh, in a strand or a piece of DNA. What the DNA sequencer does is it takes a sample of DNA that's been fragmented into pieces. It sucks up those samples. Uh, it's a multi-headed pipetter, 96 pipette tips. Sucks up the sample, moves over to where the samples are actually introduced into the gel, which is the uh, working component of the machine. And then after that, the samples are separated by electrophoresis and then the uh, different pieces are detected by a fluorescence-based uh, detector. And then the signals are processed uh, and converted into one of the four DNA bases. So it's a machine that decodes the chemical sequence into a four-base digital sequence. What we're trying to refine uh, with the DNA sequencer is uh, trying to improve its performance, uh, make it a much better machine. It's going to be commercially uh, available uh, in, in the next year. Um, but uh, rather than improving the DNA sequencer itself, we want to improve uh, the technologies that are associated with how to prepare a sample for DNA sequencing, as well as take what we've learned about building machines such as ours and uh, building other kinds of machines uh, designed to study other kinds of biological problems. Uh, bioengineering is just is breaking open as a field. Um, it's breaking open because biology in itself, which is the scientific basis for bioengineering, uh, is undergoing a major change or a major revolution uh, caused mainly because we were able to have sequenced genomes now. But now we want to know what that means and uh, how we can use that information. And that's where bioengineers come in.